Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back here to the channel. Great to have you aboard. This is a, another beautiful place that we've come to today to uh, catch bass. And again, we want to get out there and make it a bass assault. It is midwinter, overcast conditions today, and we're spending a few days at it. So we're going to see if we can find some of those fish. But not only are there bass, but there are also other species like yellow belly and silver perch. Um, there is most certainly some big carp in here as well, um, amongst some catfish and so on. But the ones that will take the lures, all of those species would do that. But we're going to get into it. It is going to be tough fishing. I think it's going to be a little bit slower. We're going to have to find the fish though. We've got a bit of time to do that. So stay tuned guys. Let's go and let's get some bass. All right, guys, so it's time to set up now, and um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting today. I'm going to start off with some paddle tails. Look, you've got to start off with the stuff that you know, and as you've seen from other shows, you know, we start off with those paddle tails and stuff, aquatic life, small bait fish, that type of approach. Um, we're going to start with those with a couple of colors, see how those go. I'm going to set up uh, with a couple of different uh, weights on the jig head so that we can go deeper, uh, we can go shallower. Uh, there's a lot of trees, a lot of structure, a lot of different terrain out here. So I'm just going to grab out some rods right now. I'm just going to grab the ones that actually are going to be beneficial for a start. You know, when you're getting to a lake, you want to make sure that you have the best odds to actually get some bites. That's all we need at first, it's just some bites. So I'm going to put the safest of safest baits that I've got here onto the rig. Obviously, rig them up with fluorocarbon. Make sure that they're tied correctly. Make sure that we blacken all of the jig heads, which I'm going to show you how to do. And we're going to make sure we've got the best chances to catch fish. So let's get it on right now. Right, just going into the bag of tricks and uh, starting to get the rods ready. And I'm going to be using seven foot six medium action rods today. I think those are going to be the best option to get started. Putting Laura on pretty much the same thing, some seven footers, some nice medium uh, action rods. And the reason for that is you really want the rod at the end to have that little bit of flexibility as you see there. Uh, because the fish, they don't warn you when they take the bait, they just smash it. So you've got to be ready for that. So I'm going to get rigged up right now. We're going to sort that out, get that started, and uh, I'll show you the rigs we're going to be using. Get yourself some black nail varnish that will help you tremendously when you're fishing you take your jig head like that and you just paint it on and you just make it now the reason why I use nail varnish is because we have to do this all day you're gonna lose stuff and um, unfortunately jig head cement takes all night to uh, dry so you don't know what you're using the next day so you may make a whole lot up the night before and then the next day you need something completely different so I like to take them out on the day I just Put them out, out here on the deck i let them sit for 10 minutes and then they're ready to go tie them on brand new rigs now the reason why we do this is because fish here are a little bit alert and if you have lead they know what that is because they've had other anglers go at them before and they can see that and it looks just like something that may have caught them before when you blacken it up it takes away that sort of suspicious look and it obviously gives you that little bit of an advantage so i'm going to do a couple of those right now and then we're going to rig up the paddle tails so just putting some fluorocarbon on now and I'm using six pound um, on these fish. Uh, being winter, you know, the uh, fish are very, very sensitive to stuff and they can see the line and uh, fluorocarbon is invisible in the water, but six pound is a good way to really get a nice finesse presentation in front of these fish. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just rigging those up. We're going to get onto this point very shortly. And uh, once the uh, it's, all, it's all rigged up, we're going to get right out there. Right guys, so that's blackened up now and I've attached it nicely to my fluorocarbon. I've modified this bait a little bit here and um, this is the size that I know works. Uh, I want a bait that's absolutely a give me, you know, so that's really going to catch something. So it's a very finessey bait. Now in the summertime, you know, your spinner baits and your crank baits and all of that will work, you know, on the banks. But I don't believe these fish are going to be all the way on the banks. Although I think there's times where they are going to come up and I think this afternoon will be good because yesterday it was really hot and I'm hoping that the water warmed up a degree and stayed like that overnight because we had cloud cover and didn't get too cold and uh, hopefully they get active in the afternoon. Uh, we didn't start at the crack of dawn because of that. Um, I felt that it was definitely going to be an afternoon bite today. Might be wrong. Feeding that down now. You can just see I'm just going to place it in there and it's 
very important how that looks. Now it's modified and that is really good and it's got a nice big paddle tail on the back. And the reason why I'm going to use this is because I want to work a lot of water, find out where the fish are deep, shallow, in structure, out of structure, in grass, off the bank, that type of thing. And if I can match that then obviously I can start branching out to some other baits which might get some better quality fish. But that's where we're starting and very importantly for me I really like the little bit of red flake in there. You can see that that's a that is a baby bass color um, and that is I've got silver black and red flake and the red flake for some reason really does it for me so there it is guys we're gonna get in there right now let's go always remembering put a little bit of spray on there we've been using uh, nail polish and stuff like that and that leaves scents so aniseed garlic you know whatever goes just take those scents off you can start with a good bait. So that's what I'm doing, just spraying us up, and we're gonna get right on it. So guys, I've come out here with a good buddy of mine from the United States of America. This is someone you're gonna see on my shows quite a bit, because we do travel around the world and we fish together. And uh, that's uh, the cool thing about it. Laura, welcome. Welcome to beautiful Australia. Welcome to the bass assault that we are going to attempt today in this wonderful, cooler weather. How was your trip here? Uh, my trip was great. The plane uh, flight was good. Uh, it's a long ways, but it's worth it. Um, I wanted to come out here, try to catch some Australian bass. That's what I want to try to catch. And for all of you all in America, we want to show you how it's done down here. And I'm hoping we catch a lot of fish. Now, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful like this, and uh, it's uh, in the uh, western uh, areas, northwestern areas of New South Wales, and it has got some really good bass. Now. Granted, Australian bass are not as big as the ones you get in the United States. You know, they're a little bit different. They are a little bit trickier to, to catch as well. They're very, very, very specific on what they want at the time that they want it. Now, I have fished a lot in the States and done a lot of good lakes over there. And um, just wanted to bring this perspective to you with a buddy of mine from there. Now, I've done a lot of fishing in the States. Uh, I used to live there in Baltimore, Maryland. and. Uh, used to do some stuff over there and I actually tried to get on the uh, the fishing circuit there but uh, it's a completely different ball game these fish are very elusive and uh, you have to present the baits right and we're going to be talking about that today because that's important what baits we use I have no idea yet there's uh, it's there's a lot of aquatic life here the fish do different things at different times of the day so I love spinner baits to work but at the time of the year it's winter here in the southern hemisphere so we've got a lot of work to do so Laura buddy welcome Thanks. let's get on it and let's get some fish yeah let's awesome. get them let's get them so i've made a little adjustment i've halved the bait that i'm using pumpkin seed black flake and i'm going to be doing a chartreuse tail on it just to make sure that that is going to be something that stands out and hopefully that's going to get us a bite or two um, just to highlight that tail a little bit and to make sure that we have something else to intrigue these now this is garlic scented as well so it's really good but i will be putting a little bit more scent on there just to screen things but that's uh that's the bait we're using right now and that's what hopefully is going to get us some bites let's go yes we're on it i made some nice changes the bait and uh, went smaller put a little bit of chartreuse on the tail and guys we've got ourselves our first bass for the day so that is epic i've just got to hold it it's quite strong 